Hi, my name's Ted Bosbill, and together with my wife Lorraine, we set up Villages of Life in Australia to assist youth for Christ in Burundi. Burundi is the third poorest country in Africa, and we're currently working in Chibatoki, which is Burundi's poorest province, so the needs are great. As part of our project, we have four mums and 32 children living in a village setting. Also part of this project is a school um, which currently has 250 students from prep to grade five and a clinic which is about to open. Our aim for this project is to be as self-sufficient as possible through on-site food production. Currently as part of our sustainability projects we have a bakery, cows, goats and rabbits. We also grow crops. G'day, I'm Des. The land which the Homes of Hope is built on is very, very porous and undulating. There's a lot of small stones in the soil and it makes it unsuitable for the traditional form of pond fish farming. So we're going to use above ground tanks. We will use solar power to pump the water through the system. Um, we have already built a 60,000 gallon tank which will become the sump and we'll pump from the sump up onto the high ground and let the water flow using gravity back down into the sump. The tanks will produce uh, fresh fish for the children to eat and also provide uh, supply into the local market once it's fully functional. The project will be a blessing to the local community because it'll provide work, paid work during the construction phase and will become a model to use as a training aid to help anyone in the local community who wants to learn how to grow their own fish. To record the project's development, we will bury a 10 year time capsule when the first fish are harvested. The capsule will record the names of all our supporters and sponsors, and we'll have a message there for the community in the future. The variety of foods in Burundi is very limited. The kids usually are eating maize and beans for their meals, so to be able to add fish into their diets will be so good for their brain development, their eye development, it will aid them in their schoolwork, um, and it will um, help with malnutrition and fighting diseases. Um, fish is full of omega-3 fatty acids, it's low in fat and high in protein. Uh, the fish farm will be here, just here, we start to build from here. We'll be digging the, this land and go out toward the tank where you can see the children over there. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, John say that he is afraid of a fish because it can bite him. But he say I'm enjoying to eat it. Oh, okay. That's a good answer. Good answer. Thank you for the fish.